welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your daily astrology horoscope. This is the Peace Dealer, and welcome to the brand new chapter of season two. Season one of 2020 has been a complete and total shit show, and that's not going to change anytime soon. In fact, it's going to be even crazier. So prepare yourselves. Hopefully you have a good attitude about this. Oh God. But yes, zero degrees. This is I protect. And, it, and if there's anything we need to protect more than ever, it's our innocence and sincerity. Because we've let so many people be openly fake out here that it, now it's normal. How have we normalized fakeness? Actually, that's a three hour documentary. But to answer that question, but this is your opportunity to protect what is true, real, and sincere. Really, I laugh about this, but it's not even funny because it's happening in front of our face. The normalizing of, of just e deeper fakeness and lies. It's weird. But um, yeah, zero degrees. We start a brand new chapter here. And the reason why I'm so amazed about this chapter is while, while this new season of 2020 has been just beyond comprehension, even though season two is going to be so much darker, we start season two with the full manifestation of our supernatural abilities. Zero degree new moon next to 29 degrees of the North Node in Gemini is iconic for an infinite number of reasons. The most important reason I'll say is that fuck this linear time system that these ruling elites have lied to you about living in. I just have to say that. Because this, there's so much stuff we accept in our reality that affects your psyche because you're constantly reinforcing things that are not true. That was the purpose of this Gemini season. When you say you're a nationality, when you say you're a first or last name, when you say that it's this day or that day, none of that is true. It is not 2020 right now. It is not the month of June. I hate to break it to you. The only reason why we say it is, is because we've agreed as a collective that this is how we're going to system systematically, you know, you know, organize these days. But that doesn't make it true. Not at all. Astrology teaches you that time is cyclical. Okay? Before our ancestors had Gregorian calendar systems, they looked at the stars. They were able to map out harvest chains and, 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 and feeding their whole villages by just knowing the cycles of the stars because that's the true time. Okay, it's man, it's a man-made concept to put a time with a number. It doesn't even work like that. The time doesn't exist, you just have now. So there's a deep significance to us starting the cancer cycle at zero degrees. We could have started this new moon at any degree and it's zero, which is technically 30 degrees Gemini. So if you don't, if you don't think season two is going to start with a bang, oh my God, get ready. Okay. And starting at the zero degree mark fully infuses the moon's transit during Aries, Taurus and Gemini season to open up the narrative of a new chapter in the second cardinal sign, the most psychic sign, Cancer, bridging in your soul, the seat of your soul, fourth house, and, and what scientists have called emotions, but emotions don't exist. You're what you call emotions is psychic ability. This is why water signs are the most suppressed. You guys don't even acknowledge them. You think they're emotional. No, they're psychic. That's why they're empathic. So you're getting ready to infuse the sincere feeling of emerging your powers. And this is what you're going to take and develop with you until you have your first boss battle at the full moon to end of the season. With Mercury retrograding, we're going to be preparing to come into a huge epiphany deep in soul of how to feel about all this. Because now we know the truth, but how do we feel about this? It's going to take some time to process. And as it takes time, let me remind you to take your time. And don't let people rush you. The moon 
is going to be coming out of Gemini. And this is going to have you revisit all the thoughts that people criticize that's wrong with you. And you're going to realize these are, it's actually a lie. The, the things that people are complaining that are wrong with you are actually the best parts of you. So like you really make, you need to make the decision to trust in yourself and stop listening to these agents who are literally placed there to get you to doubt yourself and confuse you. Let's just keep it real. Today's daily word is as follows. You know what your superpower is, so I want you to, 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 to feel it and recite this with me. I feel the power. I feel the power. I feel the power. This cycle that we're kicking off is going to induce a lot of kundalini activations and rising for a lot of you. And it's go time. So y'all stay blessed as always. And until tomorrow, 